continue to talk about this. The big move up in divisions for Liberty University's football team is drumming up excitement tonight among the uh, students on campus as well, as you might imagine. WSLS 10's Rob Match caught up with some of them tonight. He's live outside of Liberty this evening. So what, what are they saying to you, Rob? Well, yeah, everyone I've spoken with is really excited about the future of the program and what it could mean for the school here. Now, earlier today, we heard President Jerry Falwell talk about D1 football being a dream of his father's, and it's clear that that dream is shared by students here on campus. Go Flames! <laughs> Freshman Nathan Rambo and senior Lee Parrish say Division I football has them excited for the future at Liberty. And I think that'll be a real attraction to newer students, newer athletes, and really draw more people in. More income for the school. I mean, we're always, like, needing money. Like, we're all the time having new students come in. And we also heard from Luke Dillard, the sports editor at the Liberty Champion, in an email saying, quote, people have definitely looked down on the Liberty program because of their FCS classification, and now they will no longer be able to do that. It was a momentous day. As a student body, it'll mean more. Uh, not in the sense that we, do, uh, we would or wouldn't support our team as much, but I think the games will be more meaningful in the sense of, okay, this team's coming. They're bigger named. and. Even though the school won't officially be bowl eligible until 2019, for students like Parrish and Rambo, the excitement is already here. Well, the athletics program here at Liberty University has been steadily growing ever since it first began back in 1972. And in that email, Dillard tells me that he hopes that Liberty can one day be for Protestant Christians what Notre Dame University is today for Catholics. In Lynchburg, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.